Elizabeth. And I'm Vanessa. And we're Granville Automatic. There's a lot of history under America's concrete, and we're traveling the nation singing our songs inspired by Civil War landscapes that are quickly disappearing. On the grounds where those stories took place. So buckle up, y'all. Let's save history. One song at a time. So we're here in Atlanta, Georgia. We're at the Edgewood Retail District. In this area, on the land I'm walking on, was the center of the Battle of Atlanta in 1864. So we thought we would walk around and ask folks who are here if they know what happened here 149 years ago. Excuse me. Hey. So, uh, first question is, do you know what happened here 150 years ago? Come on, it's 2013. <laughs> I don't know, I have no idea. 149 years ago? Yeah. You have no idea? Okay. A really good party? That would have been the 1870s? Uh, Civil War? No, it could be one of the Civil War battles. They, they actually fought over where we live. Over there, to my, over there in Glenwood Park, not in the Glenwood Park area? Yeah, I guess it was a famous Southern battle. Ding, 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 ding! This was the site of the Battle of Atlanta. Tell me who William Sherman was. I do not know. Somebody important. <laughs> sounds familiar. The name sounds familiar. I heard that name. Was he with the Union? The Union General who, um, oh my God, I'm sure I know this. I had a very nice teacher. No. No. Okay. Sherman. Union general who burned Atlanta to the ground. Burned the whole city down. That was him. He burned the city in the Yep. You're on it. Gotcha. Next question. Who is John Bell Hood? Hood was the, uh, I think he was from Texas. I have heard the name. Does that ring a bell? I do not know. (laughs) Never heard that name before. (laughs) The first black president. Um, I've seen his name on one of those little plaques. The, like, area general for the Confederacy? That's the general of the uh, Confederate Army. Very good. Um, all right, who won the Civil War Battle of Atlanta? Confederates won the battle. England. Sherman. No. The Union, of course. That's right. Gotcha. He killed it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I try to be a little intellectual about some things. You got it. Thanks, man. <laughs> thank I you. appreciate it. All right, you guys enjoy your day. Woo! That was crazy. Crazy man on the street. It was interesting. I mean, no, awesome. nobody really knew what happened here. I mean, it doesn't surprise me at all. Well, I thought for sure <laughs> that somebody would, would know all four answers, but I think I don't think anybody knew all four. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Oh, oh, can we stop and get ice we cream, please? We are no, 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 no. Turn around, turn around. It's not going to happen. Please. Not going to happen. Please. We do not have time. Cumberland, you hear the sound of the creek in late July. Rest believed his battery could hold back the Union line. No more palisades that hold the winds of change. Burn, burn, burn till the flames hit the sky. Time to burn, burn. Ashes be the dirt upon your grave. May the ashes be the dirt upon your grave. John Bell Hood could never stand on those Western Railroad lines. On Flat Shoals Road, the cannon sounds like another place in. And on his horse he rode, cursing the black smoke. Burn, burn, burn till the flames hit the sky. Time to burn, burn, burn you away. Burn, burn, burn till the ground churn. May the ashes be the dirt upon your grave May the ashes be the dirt upon your grave The last summer of a long war Might give you what you're praying for Up on Coping Hill All the air is clear, fairly warm Cumberland, 
You hear the sound of the creek in late July. Burn, burn, burn till the flames hit the sky. Time to burn, burn, burn you away. Burn, burn, burn till the ground Sherman cried. May the ashes be the dirt upon your grave. Ashes be the dirt upon your grave. May the ashes be the dirt upon your grave. May the ashes be the dirt upon your grave.